Good morning. Uh, we're going to go back to Italy and do this scene of people having dinner uh, in, on a terrace outside a restaurant and so forth. So it looks complicated, but it really isn't. Uh, it's all how you see it. If you see it in layers and sections and big shapes, you'll do fine. So, okay, uh, let's begin by painting the building. Uh, that's raw sienna with a touch of cadmium red. So just paint it in, paint all around the trim of the windows and all that. That's a, that's a different uh, sort of a concrete color. Okay, uh, so I'm just sprinkling some cad. Uh, actually, that's rose that I'm throwing on there. A little tiny bit of rose. You know what concrete looks like. It's very, you know, it's very uh, abrasive and uneven. The, the colors are uneven. They fade differently and so forth. So it's all a rough texture to it. So uh, just throw it on there and get a nice shape. We're going to go back into that. All right, let's paint all these windows uh, and doors. Uh, some of them, you know, the windows, others are deep uh, hallways that are going probably back to the kitchen or something like that. So, so some of them will be a lot darker than others. But this is just ultramarine with a little touch of uh, quinacridone sienna. Okay, and be careful. Uh, you know, don't worry about the people. Just, you know, some of the people are in light, so they're going to have a little more color on them. Uh, the street in the front is just a gray, uh, a rosy gray. So it's ultramarine with a little rose and, and some raw sienna to gray it down. And uh, enough water so that it's running. Uh, what I'm going to do here is spray it, as you can see here. It's sprayed. So the water's starting to run down. And that'll give you a nice sense of reflective light coming off the building. And right, I'm going to paint all the trim around the windows and doors. And it's a, sort of a dirty concrete, you know. It's like, so it's dirty raw sienna. Raw sienna with a little blue in it. Any blue, you know, any of the dark colors, just mix it right in with the raw sienna and get it nice and, you know, kind of a dirty raw sienna color. Just go around and do all the trim. See how fast it comes together? All right, th these are some sort of panels up there. Uh, I don't know if they're plastic or metal, but they're, they're sort of a light blue color. So I just put a little uh, cadmium uh, cobalt blue mixed in with that raw sienna. All right, the building was dry, so I'm going back and scumbling with the same color. Cadmium red, raw sienna. You can even put a drop of... of a really in yellow in there if you want. Just keep it, you know, dry. And then once you get it all covered, you can go with a little damper brush and move it around. But you want it uneven. You want it, you know, you, you, as I said, you know what uh, stucco looks like. So you want to give it that, that rough, rough look. All right, under the umbrellas, the light is bouncing up there, giving it a beautiful, warm look. This is raw sienna with some uh, cadmium red in there. So keep it nice. I'm going to put it, uh, make it nice and wet, and then I'm going to put a drop of uh, uh, quinacridone sienna in the center while it's wet so it all dissolves. It gives you that sense of uh, heat under the middle. All right, let's the uh, tablecloths. There's a double tablecloth on the tables. Uh, beautiful beautiful bright red covered with the white tablecloths so the undercloth is red and then under the tables is very dark there's no light getting under there so this is ultramarine with quinciana pretty dark you can put a drop of cobalt blue in there and charge it up a little bit if you want but what i'm going to do first is place the darks under the tables and then go in with some uh, cobalt blue or even ultramarine, very light, more water in it, and tie these shadows together, get sort of a straight line. All right, I'm going to get into the people here. So what I'm doing is I took some quinacridone sienna, and I'm just going to pop in the faces of the people uh, with the quinacridone sienna. So I know where they are, and I know, uh, you know, some, as I said, will be out front towards the light, 
But this gives me an idea of how many people are there. You know, I may pop some more in later, but this is their faces. So behind the people, uh, it's much warmer. So I'm going back to that original color of raw sienna and cadmium red, and I'm painting the buildings behind the people and get a nice warm color. Then I'm going to just go in with some basically water and get rid of that edge. You leave the top as light as so it looks like there's a sense of light coming down behind this stuff. Okay. I'm going in. This is a hallway probably leading to the kitchen or whatever. And very dark. It's, you know, it just goes into the interior of the building. So just going back over it, this Quinciana with uh, the uh, ultramarine. Okay, so nice and dark. That's going to dry lighter, you know. And right, I'm using some of that dirty raw sienna. That's raw sienna, a little blue in it, to create a shadow on the left side of all the trim. The, the light is coming from the right. So it's casting a little bit of shadow on the left side of all that trim, which sticks out from the building. All right, we're going in and painting the people sitting on the tables. You can use any colors you want here. Uh, I use a lot of black just to create the shape. If you haven't watched my video on putting people in, find that, uh, adding people to your videos and get the proportions of the people, you know, the head and the shoulders and so forth. It might really help you, so. Okay. All right, this person's sitting at the table. He's obviously he's on a chair, so we'll, we'll paint him first and then add the chair. Some more people over here. So I'm just putting some silhouettes of people in the back here. They could be waiters, they could be just customers walking back and forth. There's actually another layer of tables in the back which I didn't put in, but they're there. More people over here. So we just pop a head in and then add some shoulders to it. Get a nice, you know, turn the head different ways. All right, I'm going back into those black figures and adding just a, t a drop of, of uh, quinacridone sienna to their faces. So the faces will be warmer. You don't have to paint a face, but that area of the, fi of the figure will be nice and warm. All right, I'm, I'm using just some black here, ultramarine with quinciana, and making these waders. Uh, they have vests on with their arms, you know, or white shirts with vests and ties and you know that's that's a fun when you start doing this stuff you really get the you put a figure over here I'll put the head on him later on but there he is really enjoy that you know that's what makes the figures work so well when you start adding you know things like scarves and hats and Maybe a briefcase the man is carrying, an umbrella, a cane, you know, all that stuff makes it mo so much more fun and interesting. But uh, what I'm doing here is I'm going back with some ultramarine on my brush and just covering up the whites that I left. Um, you know, that I missed and then shadow, you don't, you want to get rid of those whites popping out here and there. I put the poles in that's holding up these beautiful umbrellas. You can see this painting is so much about the umbrellas, you know, because it's the, that's your lightest value, the bright. Uh, get those in. All right, I'm putting a little bit of a tone on the left side of these umbrellas that's just very, very light raw sienna with a tiny drop of rose, very light. Uh, there's a planter here, it's sort of a brick color. I'm just using rust, uh, quinacridone sienna. And I mix some um, 
cobalt blue teal with some aurelian farther bright green so I'm putting it in as a bright green first and then I mix some ultramarine into that to make the shadow down here all right put a couple more over here and there all right I'm going to cast a nice shadow on the right side it doesn't matter where the shadow is coming from, you know, obviously there's a building or something off site here that's casting a shadow and it really adds some drama to your painting. So paint the shadow ultramarine with a little rose and then drop some uh, raw sienna or some of the red, you know, mixed with raw sienna onto that shadow so that you, it gives it a nice sense of reflective light bouncing all over okay all right i hope you enjoyed that i did and i will see you again very soon thanks so much for watching